it's been a, it's been a lot it's been a lot of artists and it's been a lot of artists in your city mm -hmm. that's like really really good and mm -hmm. I don't think that y'all get y'all shot like that they don't get it yeah they don't get it like but that why? I why, don't know why is that I think they dabble their feet into the water and then boom that's it because I think I, I don't I don't I really don't know but but this guy I think uh DJ Smalls was talking about something okay. like that. Okay. And he was like, um, yo, I feel like um we ain't haven't had a major artist from Central Florida that held it down like a Drake or right. or something like that, you know what I'm saying? I think the last thing we had was something like I mean, Plaz live out there, but that don't mean he, you know, Plaz is really out deep, deep down by Miami. Right. So it's like Central Florida, Orlando I'm speaking, Tampa. Um, we don't really got an artist that that's holding it down like that for us, you know what I mean? See, I've heard uh um uh, I don't know if she's really gonna be that person, but I know that she's um, super dope. Um Camelia from Jacksonville. Camelia, okay. Camelia, she's from Jacksonville. She's like going like super hard. Right. Uh her DJ is Doctor Doom, you know, okay. or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's like it's so many artists like you down there, I'm like, right. what is it gonna take? I'm like right. I know Rick Ross tried his Tried his hand at giving some guys some right, opportunities, right. and it was like, eh. Eh, no, yeah. it was solid. Right, right, yeah, right, yeah, no, it was yeah, solid. That's yeah, true. Guess what I'm saying? Like, all right, it's cool. Yeah. Then you got, um, what's this, uh, uh, Brianna Perry. Mm -hmm. She was, she was dope. It's like a lot of different. It's a lot right. of different artists. You got Kodak Black. Right, 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 right. Guess right. what I'm saying? So I watch the movement, but mm -hmm. I just know that it's so many more yeah. underground right, artists exactly. that's not getting right. Not getting it, bro. Not getting it. And then a lot of times I feel like a lot of them don't want to get out of that horizon. Like right. they're so stuck in what they know in that region. So they right. don't want to come out here and network or go to LA and do all those different things. And and I don't know. I, I think they're trying to make it from the root or something. I don't, I don't right. That, that, that part <laughs> that that part I that part I do get. Like right. making it from the root, but right. at the same time it's like you gotta test. You gotta test gotta different test cultures different code, right. to see if what actually works. Because if you always think that this is the sound and this is what's mm -hmm. gonna get me by, right? You're yeah. never gonna know what the real, what right. the world really feels about you. Right. Just like we were just having a conversation, right. I'm right. like, all right, if I'm just doing this here, uh -huh. it's really not gonna, it's really not gonna hit the people outside of right. the city. But when I started, when people started hitting me up, like, oh, bring the pattern room to this place, to that right. place, to this place, to that place, yeah. I was like, okay, I'm taking it to New York. Right. I'm taking it to this place yeah. because I'm like, I've created my path here, right. and if it doesn't, if it's not the people that's in my city, Don't then I pick it, pick it up. I have to move yeah, around. I can't right. just be like, all right, bro, I'm gonna keep on trying to make a record to please y'all. Right, man. right. It's a whole world. Right. Outside true. Of it's me. a whole world out there. That's true. So tell us, tell us about like you getting your start at music. Man, me, you know what I'm saying? Like when I got my start at music, well, well before the fact of, you know, me out giving out my demos, you know what I'm saying? I was basically uh I was linked up with Johnny Wright. Which is like P Diddy right here, man. I, I actually was auditioning for Day Twenty Six, mm -hmm. the group, and um, you know, with my management or whatever, you know, what I'm saying he just felt like whatever the situation was, it wasn't the best for 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 us, you know, us at that time. Mm -hmm. So he kind of pulled me back from that. But I had a chance to audition for Johnny Wright. You know, what I'm saying he was like, bro, you know, you got some, you, you dope. You know what I mean? So you had, so you uh, you had an opportunity, opportunity, like on the table, like I could have been like yeah. part of Day Twenty Six, right? A part of Day Twenty Six. So wow, it was, yeah, you know, what I'm saying I was out in Orlando, Rio Grande, his little compound. You know, what right. I'm saying, and we stayed there for like a full day, just going over songs and right. going through different things and dancing and doing crazy stuff. Wow. And um, you know, sometimes I just feel like managers just like they're so well at that time the management I had was so focused on what they wanted out of it so they couldn't see what you know probably what was best for me or and and then you gotta think about it too if if you're if you're saying that I'm just gonna think what's what's actually going on because first of all I'm putting you in a group of like maybe like five right five, five dudes so as a manager your percentage of your percentage for artists already got small because of right. y'all. Right. And then his <laughs> part, his part is it even getting smaller. So I just think that that was a selfish move. Right. It was a selfish move. Yeah. I said. He was like, you know, I'm not gonna get what I want because we got a split between. Yeah. You know what I mean, so. But look what look what day twenty six went through and. Right. It's cool, like you know, they might have went through their ups and downs. A couple of people went to television. A couple of people right. fell by the wayside. But it's still one of those things where, like, you would have been a part of the bad boy right. family. Anything right. could have been happening. You could write for people, Yay. whatever. Yeah. But that's just a process, right? A, a part of your life, you right? Know what I'm right. So 
after that, what, what happened for you? So, you know what I'm saying? So I kept grinding, man, kept doing my thing. I kind of broke away from that management situation. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, I just kept putting out demos. So I ended up um, being in the same club as Walker Flocker one night. You know what I'm saying? His whole camp was in there. And I just went, you know, I came with a whole bunch of CDs. I went there to party. You feel me? Right. I came to grind. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, this girl, you know what I'm saying, that was a, she was like a bottle girl. She was like, yo, Walker Flocker is going to be in the building tonight. Because right. she know, you know, they support me on my music. Like, yo, I'm going to get you face-to-face -face with him. So, you know, she kind of wow. snuck me upstairs, you know what I'm saying, around the security, da 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 because I kind of had a little shake hand was with Was this your cousin or something? Nah, she wasn't even she my cousin. Is, she was just rocking with you. She was rocking with me. I just thought so, that was a family. Hey, nah, yeah. I'm just joking. So she <laughs> got me around, you know, the security. We got, right. you know, face to face. I gave Walker a CD, took a picture. Then I gave his whole camp CD. Right. So his brother was like, yo, when we get back to Atlanta, we going to check his demo out, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm going to let you know, buzzer, 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 buzzer. One of the cats in the group, you know what I'm saying? Link me to Mimi Agency. Like, yo, go check out, you know what I'm saying, my family, whatever, whatever. Right. She might can do something for you. So I looked her up. I reached out to her on Instagram. We clicked, like, instantly. You feel me? And, um, you know what I'm saying? From there, man, she just started doing my PR. The whole Mimi Agency took over my stuff and, you know what I'm saying, mapped it out mm -hmm. the right way. You know what I'm saying? It kind of brought me down to Atlanta to do some fashion shows. I was doing shows. I was doing, I mean, features, everything. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty dope, man. Are you still with, with the Mimi Asian? Oh, yeah, definitely. Shout out, definitely. Shout, shout out to shout out to them. Yeah, man. Shout hard workers. Them. Definitely hard workers, man. So how 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 is how is the change for you even to deal with an agency like that to come on and be like, all right, we believe you? Because I don't really think sometimes like with them is like the bag is, the bag has to be attached. I just right. think that they actually work with like Right. Good clients. Right, right. And and that's the thing. That's the thing I loved about them. Right. They wasn't she let me know off the jump. Like, it ain't all about money, it ain't about this, it ain't about that. She said, you know, I like I I I like your music. I like what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? Let's have a meet, let's sit down, let's talk about what we can do. And um she really they showed me like um um places, you know, they got me into events that like I was never able to get into. Right. You know, unless, you know what I mean, with that they introduced me to, you know what right. I'm saying? So I was like, yo, man, it's like, it's real legit. Like, I'm so used to being cutthroat. I ain't gonna front, man. Yeah. I sent money out of, through my career, I done well, seen you and your money out of Miami to people that talking about, we gonna get you a record label. In, in your city? Yeah, in my God, own city, man. bro. Yeah, That's in my own vicious. city. They be like, I, I been, know Miami's big, but they like, hey, like, hey. Yeah, cat like me. Yeah, no, send me this money and I'll get you in front of XYZ or uh, you know, whatever record companies out there in Miami, whatever, whatever. You know, I ain't gonna do no name drops and stuff. Right. But you know, so and he scared me. You feel me? My whole camp went to Miami, they're like, Yo, know this dude. You feel me? Yo. You know. So my guard was all the way up. So I'm like, yo, you know, so for them to show me that it's really good people out here that's really trying to help the artists get to where they gotta go, that meant a lot to me, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I really feel like that's family, you know what I mean? That's family. So so let me ask you this. Have you ever had any encounters with any other labels from down there and, and any any deals was on the table that you were thinking like, uh, maybe, maybe not, and you just walk away because obviously you're independent now. Right. Do I have any of those um, labels reached out to you from there? Well, um, I kind of, you know what I'm saying, had some A&Rs reach out to me from Cash Money. You know, they out in Miami. Um, I had some A&Rs reach out to me from, from Rick Ross' camp as well. One of my one of my boys signed to um, Rick Ross right now from Pope. So it's like, you know, he always referring people to me like, yo, you know, we can probably get you some situations, whatever the case, because like me and him, I'm not going to front. Like, we go hard. Like, while we out there, we not just out there chilling on the beach. You know what I'm saying? We right. promote and we grinding, like, day in and day out. And we got a mutual respect, you know, for that. So, um, but I had a few, I had a few um situations, man. You know what I'm saying? I had a few situations on the table. But it's just like, I feel like at that time, I wasn't ready. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like an artist got to know when he ready. So, even, and that's even with, like, business. You know what I'm saying? Like, the deals and all that, like, every deal ain't what it, what it always seemed to be. Do you think do you think your city makes you more lax as an artist because like it's water, it's trees, it's fine women is like it's like it's like for real. I'm just right, saying no, that's like, true, yeah. as an artist you gotta think about they, it. Like if I go down there, like I was down in Miami, I'm, I told right. you I'm about to go this weekend, but right. I've been down there like maybe like a couple weeks ago, and it's just like one of those places where you just gonna get down there and you're right. just gonna Chill. Yeah, want to relax. Like, you don't even want to be bothered. Right, right, like right. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna chill. I might be here to network, but it's more so like you gonna chill, so right. I know like it's a different transition right. from Miami to Atlanta. It is, but does it make well, you like lax at all? Well, what else? I think we more like 
used to it. You know what I'm saying? Right, okay. So I think once you once you grew up in that area, you like ain't calling that hot ass son. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So right. coming from out here is beautiful. You like, yo, we get to, in the sun, we get to right. chill, whatever. Right. But you from out there, we like, man, we try and dodge that sun, come right. out at night. You know what, right. what I'm saying? But uh, you know, I just always been accustomed to working hard, man, you know what I'm saying, and networking. Mm -hmm. I network, man. Um, I actually, uh, I, I used to network hard, bro. Mm -hmm. I used to try to get into any situation I can get into right. because maybe down the road, you know, sign up, mm -hmm. sign up, pop up. What makes you? What makes you consistent? What makes you consistent at what it is that you do on a day to day basis? Like, what's your drive for you to just be like, this is what I'm gonna do, and I'm not gonna stop. Right. Well, me, man, you know what I'm saying, number one, my family, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, I want my family to see, you know what I'm saying, that if if, if if my big brother or, you know what I'm saying, my pops work hard, like my dad work hard, I could be successful. I can, I can make it too, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I think we have to kind of go through that hill to pave the way, but, you know, to make it a little bit easier for them to get through, you know what I mean? So my motivation is really my family, my mom, you know what I'm saying? My friends, you know what I mean? People people that's close to me. When I say friends, I'm talking about real, like, loyal friends, not just them, yeah. them right. bandwagon cats right. that hop right. on the scene. I'm talking about people that's been riding with you, saying, you know what, I don't care if I don't get no check this week. Let's go get it. Mm -hmm. We'll get it. When we get that check, you know what I'm saying, we will eat. Right. But we ain't focused on that. Let's go get this money. Those are people that I do it for. You know what I'm saying? Tell me about the first time you ever got a, you ever got a check for your music. If it was in the mail for, or you was like you got paid to perform. Right. Tell me about that first time you got you man, got money for your first for your craft. My first my first check, man. I think I got about two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, it came in from some on um, music screens and all that stuff. So I'm like, yo, like it's really you know what I mean, like. Coming in, you feel me? Like I, I had a chance to pay a little phone bill here, right. you know what I'm saying? Do a little something, and I felt like I was the man because your craft, you know what I'm saying, is right. allowing you to something you love to do is allowing you to, you know, at least do something. You know what I mean? So that first check, man, I got it. I was, I was, I was like, yo, babe, yo, you know what I mean? Yo, you got it, you know what I mean? So you know, I really, I was suit. I ain't gonna lie, I was right. real suit, man. But I was very thankful. It, it kind of like, yo, it's showing you that it's worth it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Keep going, and you never know. What level you can get to? All right, so now you get you got a song like it's 2018. Let's speed the people up a little bit. It's 2018. You just dropped the song with Lil Scrappy. Mm -hmm. You got um, another joint that you dropped. I remember you had one Dang. like Lil Zane. Zane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you was on Instagram, and I, I don't know what the hell is wrong with my, with my emails because right. he starts singing the song, the people go crazy, and I text him I'm like I don't got it. Right. And then he's like. It's in your ear. <laughs> and I'm like, holy oh, shit. Oh yeah. my God. But that's a, that's a, that's a dope that's, one. Which one is that? It's called No Felons, no, no man. Felons. That's a new single that's uh, you know out right now. So right. it just dropped like two days ago. So, mm -hmm. you know, we try to really get that traction going for that. Um, I got a show in Miami on December 1st. You know what I'm saying? They already booked me out there to come perform it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So we just try to do a lot of shows, man, and stay busy. But yeah, No Feelings, man. That, that's one of them songs. Like, that's some real life, some real life shit, right. man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like people... When they use their pin game, they try to show the sweet side of everything. Like right. some people, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, man, I got to show that there's an other side. There's a time when you come to the house and that woman try to knock your head off. Like, it's not right. always peaches and cream, right. you feel me? And I feel like that's what music is. Music is, you know what I mean? To me, you got to tell a story, you know what I mean? See, the, the, thing, the thing to me about, about music now, especially with like R&B, mm -hmm. I really just think that it's like, it's like too raunchy. Right. Like, I like good music, but right. it's like, as a DJ, when I'm playing stuff at, like, certain venues or whatever, say I want to go, I want to go to a corporate event, and I right. want to do, and I want to play some R&B music. Right. You got the hardest mm -hmm. beat, mm -hmm. you got, you got the best, you got the best <laughs> rhythm, you got right. the best hook and all that, and then as soon as we get to the song, it's like, I was fucking this bitch. Right. I was, no, I was, right. I was like, it's just like, well, it's a, a sense of, right. all right, so it's just like one of those things, like, the songs now is like, right. I don't knock it because I play it. I love right. it, but it's just like for the people that's yeah. actually listening, right. I'm like to. trying to be a consumer thought right. for them too. If not be hearing that stuff, I'd be like, oh, right. I, I, if you see somebody walk by the car, and you got to turn it down. You know this ain't something you try. Right. Because like <laughs> even if it, even if it's not if, even if it's not profanity in the right. records, it's still like right. this, this stuff y'all saying, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> and, it, it, and you know it's so crazy. It'd be like R and B, and I'm like, yo, if you're making a love ballad and stuff right. like that, it just be kind of crazy. Like the thing they be saying, I'm like, yeah, they do, they like, do, they be wilding, man. A lot of people be putting that, they be but, going, but this is what I'm saying. This is what the culture likes, that's what they like. So that's I'm just like, like, all right, that's what they like. Maybe I'm just getting a little bit 
That's yeah. definitely what they like, man. We, we was just speaking about that on the way up, man. It was like, yo, times changed so much. Mm -hmm. and went from I love you, I love you to yeah, I hate you. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's crazy. I just think though, I just think people are a lot of people are just living in the moment when they when they're making music. It's really to me, I, I really haven't ran across too many timeless records lately. Right. To be like, oh, I think I'll be playing this like maybe like right. a couple years from now. Just think about it. Right, right. If you're if you say 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 if you're like give or take you're like twenty five, twenty seven right. right now, mm -hmm. what song are you gonna play when you get married? Man, you gotta go back to Jagged Edge, man. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, but still, listen, if you think about Jagged Edge, yeah. like, just think about it, like 15, 20 years from right now, what you gonna be what you gonna be playing? You're gonna be playing Chris Brown, right, like right, 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 right. like under the sheets and freaking yeah. shit like that. Like what, hard, yeah. what you gonna be what you gonna be walking down the house? Down. Down. That's true, that's true. Ella May booed up and some shit yeah. like that. Like, <laughs> the whole I'm just saying the right. game is the it's game changed. is changing change. drastically. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's how I feel about it. Tell us about this song with uh Lil Scrappy. Man, you know what I'm saying? I got this drum with Lil Scrappy called No One, you know what I'm saying? Um I actually uh I met I met him um I was I was actually at the um I was at Tammy Rivera red carpet event, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. For the love and hip hop, you know what I'm saying, uh joints or whatever. And you know, I met uh scrappy people there and all that, met scrapping them there and all that. So I went back, man, and I had this joint that I just felt like I really wanted to put Boosie on it. I ain't gonna front. Right. I reached out to I reached out to Boosie, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna front Boosie was talking some numbers at that time. Right. So, you know, I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and uh since, you know, I kinda Man, scrapping them, you know what I'm saying? Let me email them and say, you know, see what we could do. And then Scrap worked with me, man. He was like, you know, hey, they jumped on, he jumped on the joint, he did that. And I put it out, man. People started catching, you know, picking mm -hmm. up on it, especially right. like Florida, like they eat right. it up. And um, from there, man, it's just been, it's been, it's been song after song. <laughs> see, what I, what I think, what I think about you and like the progress that you're making, I think that a lot of the stuff that's going to happen from you is going to be based off relationships. Right. You, you sound right. Like, yeah. You really have you really have to get in there. You you also said that you've been writing for people. Yeah. You've been writing for people. Mm -hmm. That's what people don't understand. Like that's that's real estate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's when you write estate. when you write for people, mm -hmm. that's real estate. Mm -hmm. So no matter what you do or yeah. how you do it or how you sell it, I'm still gonna still get in gonna, on the action. Still gonna get the action. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. like the two people that I know, like right now that's really making a lot of uh, Money doing that is like Young Bird. Shout out to Young Bird Dope. and uh, Land Strip Chip. Like those two guys are like writing for like everybody. Dope. Like, how do you write an album for like Todd Dolla Sign right. and Jeremiah together? Like right. what type of money is that? That's crazy money. Crazy. Like, man. like that's a big bag. Right. So tell us, um, what you what, what do you want to see from yourself within like the next two to three years? Like, what's man, you, I mean, what do you want? I say for 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 like the next um two or three years, man. I really want to, you know, what I'm saying like. Push my records more out. I want to um see. You know, I just want to build more of a fan base. You know, what what's, I'm saying? Pop, what's popping for you? Like, like when, like when you would be like, all right, Marty's popping right now. Right. What's what, what's pop? What's popping for you? For you and your your mental state? Like what? Like what's right now? Like in my mental state, I just feel like you know I want to really like um. I really want to break a record, you know what I'm saying? Show my city that, you know what I mean? You could get out there and work hard and really break records, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? I feel like um, a lot of cats just feel like sitting behind the internet is going to break. Like, every, it's not going to work, bro. You know? And um, the truth is, the truth is you got to get out there and put your put your um, foot to the pavement, you know what I mean? Right. Like, it ain't only sitting behind pressing buttons, man. And I, that's what I feel like. I want to break records and show them... Me sacrificing to go on the road, me sacrificing to build those relationships and all those different things mm -hmm. is what got me a chance of actually even and 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 to you know to be able to do and write more for other artists. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Produce more for other artists, man. Because I don't I don't wrote and produce for like half of my city. Like artists on the come up, right? I don't been like responsible for a lot of their independent records and stuff like that. So you know, I just feel like a lot of them look up to me. They do they do come to me, ask me X Y Z, and I feel like you know like I'm a young OG out mm -hmm. there, like um. But I really want to see myself do. I want to really get into some reality TV too. You know right. what I'm saying? So what's up? You know what I'm saying? I want to get into some reality TV. <laughs> right. You know the boy, the boy wanted. You know what I'm saying? So, right. Um, just anything that's positive that can make a change. You know what I mean? So let me let me let me ask you this, and this is an honest question. When you know you've been put, you've been putting in a lot of time doing what it is that you're doing. Do you ever look like look at it as there's a window for you to be like, well, maybe. 
if I don't get it this time, I'll probably I'll just do something. I'll do something else. Do you ever have those feelings? I mean, honestly, man, like I, I just feel like there's nothing gonna stop. You know right. what I'm saying? Because I feel like you know, there's no there's no limit on great music or, or there's no time. There's people. I mean, look at Charlie Wilson and all them cats, man. They, I'm gonna be doing interviews till I'm like you, six. You hear me? I don't care. I'm going to get it. I don't care what it takes, man. I got to get, I know I got to get that one. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. At least that one. Like, after that, I sit back in the cut and, you know, do my little dizzle. I just, I just think that consistency is key. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, I think if you really be consistent mm -hmm. at what it is that you're doing, because you, you, you making all the right moves. You right. know what I'm saying? You're getting, you're already making checks right. from your music. You're mm -hmm. already networking. You got good PR. You, you, you're getting around the right people. Right. I just think that you have to be consistent. It can't be one of those things where you just let up for like two months. Uh, I right. just want to chill, right. figure it out. I just don't think that it's really chill. It's just realignment. Right. You, you see what I'm saying? Right. It's like, I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to realign this whole situation. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Because like, if you give up, I think it just sets you back like six years. Like, yeah. Anytime you tell, tell yourself mentally, like, uh, I, I don't think that's just going to work. Right. I swear it, feel, it feels like you put yourself back like right. six years. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So definitely uh, keep up the good work. You got any shows coming up? Appreciate it. Yeah, oh, you yeah. said the one in Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a show in Miami, and I'm also doing a little mini tour around Central Florida. Mm -hmm. So I've been getting booked a lot, man. Thank God. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've been getting, I've been getting booked a lot mm -hmm. to be an independent artist. I feel like, you know, like what you said earlier, man, like once your city see you out of that city doing other stuff and mm -hmm. doing TV and doing they, they they mess with you then. Right. You know what I mean? Isn't that weird? It's that's, weird. That's weird people talk. Yeah. Any, any, time, any time stuff like that, yeah. just say hashtag weird people talk. Right, right, right. right. You know, weird people talk. Right. Yeah, it definitely happened like that. So just more shows, man, and stay in shock. Mm -hmm. So no more, well, are you going to put out a whole project? Or yeah. Or are you just going to keep on just doing the same thing? Um, I think, I'm. A, you know, I got singles from the project done mm -hmm. so the project is done i'm just throwing them like one by one to try to see what who bite or what bite or what worked for me you know what i'm saying it's like you know that's like the smartest way to do it right right i don't know if we need to be telling y'all all this stuff <laughs> they're like figuring out like the sauce right because it's like I, I i thought about that too it's just like wow just put the project out Dude. and then once everybody likes the project then you start throwing singles and it's just like it's like a facade that this shit just get bigger. Right, And they're right. like, oh my God, a new one, a new one. Right. I, I, blur that out. I don't think they should know. I don't, I don't, think, know. I don't, they, they, I don't think they should get all that just for Hey, I, I don't want to hide, I don't right, want to hide right. the sauce from you. But that's, that's, definitely, that's definitely a good look. I mm -hmm. see the way that you marketing, the way that you campaign and stuff like that. Is there anybody that you want to work with that you've never worked with before? Oh man, I, I think um, I definitely want to work with like, like producers like Jazzy Faye, you know what I'm saying? I want to work with some cats that really, like my time and, you know, and, and I want to say one other thing before I answer that question, mm -hmm. like finish that question. I work with cats that on my time coming up, I felt like they were dope. So I wanted to be a, in the music scene at that time. So when we go back to like me doing songs with Hurricane Chris, Lil right. Scrappy, all them cats, that's the time where I was like, I want to be out there. Like that right. was my dream to be out there. Right. So I'm like, I'm going to conquer that. And then I'm gonna go out to the Kodak Blacks and all these other different things. You know what I mean? Do you think? Do you think that kind of? Do you think that? Because I don't know. Like sometimes when you when like from a consumer standpoint, when mm -hmm. you look at it and you see those, you see those names, you be like, like, like what? <laughs> the last time, right, 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 right. You, you see what I'm saying? Right. But at the same time, like when I heard the one with you and Lil Zane, it was like a good ass record. Right. So I'm just like, hmm. Right. You see what I'm saying? Shout mm -hmm. out to Lil Zane. I just seen my the kids have been playing yeah. that so. Yeah, and and that's my thing. Is like it's like I feel like uh, you know how R. Kelly. I mean, I'm not saying he made Charlie Wilson and Mr. Big relevant, right? But he he showed like him reaching back and showing love to them. Yeah, it showed like his fan base who they were. Yeah, and they took off. Yeah, they, they, they took, took off all, all, a whole all another time. time. You see right. what I'm saying? So that's what I'm kind of like saying to say like if I can do that for the people I love, mm -hmm. maybe you know what I'm saying they can you know they still they still you know wrapped up in a lot of different things. So who knows? You know what I mean, so who would you do? So who else would you want to do a song? With? Oh man, let's see. Um, I mean, I want to I want to get a song with Gucci Man. I want to get one day with Gucci Man. You know what I'm saying? I know I got to work hard to get up there, but you know, mm -hmm. one day with Gucci Man. People like, uh, uh, I mean. Let's see on the R and B tip. Let's see who we got at AT. I, I want to get a song with like Sammy or somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Sammy is like he's probably he's probably like one of the probably the easiest. Yeah. 
I'm not saying like the crazy stuff. No. Like, I, I'm just like, like he's just like so available. No, like, right, yeah, right, right. Sammy ain't got nothing going on. Right. That type of, no, I apologize. Right, 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 right. right, right. right. And you know, um, people like Sammy, man. People that you know, that, that, that them real singles, man. You know, right. like I mean, one day tank, some you know, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that'll be that be hard. Mm -hmm. be yeah, hard. definitely hard. But you know, I'm willing to put in that work, man. And hopefully, you know, one day in life we'll have that mutual respect. Mm -hmm. So before we get out of here, the last question I want to ask you: When people actually open up the project and they go to an album and they actually listen to music, what do you want people to know about you? Um, when they go check out my music, I want them to know that like I'm a loose cannon, you know what I'm saying? I might do an R and B joint here, I might do a club banger here, so I, I don't limit myself to just one full C D of whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make sure I got my old school classic on there. I'm gonna make sure I got some for the you know, the new heads, and then I got some for you know what I mean, the people that just wanna ride and chill. So I kinda base my, my music on that. It, it's a mood thing to me. Like however I'm feeling, that's what I put into my music. You know, cause I mean, I'm I don't know I don't know if it's bipolar, but I always have mood swings. Like some days I want to turn up, go to the club. Some days I just want to ride and chill. Some days you just want to, you know, this is all types of moods. I think it's just it's just being an artist. Right. If you if you're not a little if you're not a little off your rockers, I don't think that you're you're an artist. Right. Cause like all the artists that I see, they they like a little. Off to me. And right. Like, it's something. It's something. Right. Right. It's something right. off about them that you right. be like. Yeah, they are. <laughs> this is why. This is how they hone on these skills. Because right. it's some crazy stuff going on. Right. Like you, like speaking of Waka, it's like Waka. One time when he come to the radio station, and mind you, you know Waka is like all crazy time. Right, 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 right. And he comes in the he comes in the radio station, give me like books to read, and I'll be like, bro. <laughs> you know, and you know this, and you know this guy's like six six. I'm like, bro, right. like for real. About what? About water? About the <laughs> right I'm like, right. All right, I'm going to read it, though. But right. at the same time, it's like when you know people are like honed into what it is that they right. do, it's just like you understand that that's just entertainment. Exactly. This is who I really am. Exactly, right. If I, if I do the all pictures or, and I like to draw, that's like my creative. Right. That's my creative um block that I like to be right. in. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people... Don't have that because it's just like they want to be in something that's really not for them. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. always had like say when you grow up, you always had you always had guys like that'd be on the block and you'd be like, all right. Due to the circumstances, they they selling drugs or whatever. Right. right? Say so for instance, they right. stay on the block, they selling drugs, they selling weed or whatever stuff mm -hmm. like that. And then you got Tommy, that guy. A silver spoon. Right. He goes to the basketball court every day with his dad. He mm. got the J's and all that stuff like that. And then Tommy wants to come and get out of here. Exactly. Like, oh, Tommy, you don't belong here. You don't belong right, right, right. right. This ain't right. this ain't even right. this ain't even for you. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And I just mm -hmm. think that that's how the music game is going right now. Right. A lot of people are jumping off the porch. They want to get into something because it really looks cool right. and they really not cut for it. So it's like I can see through that when it's really not like. You don't really want this. Right. So I'm saying, like, you just here because you got money. Exactly. You yeah. got a little bag. You mm -hmm. got a couple of friends that's yes and men. You, you know what I'm saying? They, right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I just think that as long as you keep you keep original to what it is that you right. what it is that you do, I think that you you could go a long way. Appreciate like, it. And consistency is key, bro. Right. So tell everybody how they can follow you on social media before we get up out of here. What's up, man? Y'all can follow me on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Uh Marty underscore price. You can follow me on Facebook, Marty Price, you know what I'm saying? Um, Spotify, Marty Price. Um, uh, Twitter, I am Marty Price, you know what I'm saying? All, every outlet that I have is uh, my name, pretty much, you know what I'm saying? You can pull it up. And make sure y'all go check out that No Feelings record right now. It's out right now in all digital stores. Y'all already know what it is. Your boy DJ Waffles on the check-in. You're tuned into Hip Hop Weekly. Make sure y'all hit the button below and subscribe. Wow.